Alright guys, welcome back to Two and a Half Gamers, and this week we open up with This Week in Gaming. Dark Souls 2, guys. That's right, making a sequel to it, direct sequel this time. And, uh, well, if you've played the game, it's, uh, it's quite of a, a bitch to play. It's, it's not, it's not, it doesn't, it doesn't go easy on you at all. But they're making a sequel of it, and uh, also they're bringing the, the first one to PC, guys. Finally, a game we can all lose at. <laughs> yeah! Uh yeah, um, it seems that uh that they finally decided you know let's uh let's take this into the next level which to kill you another three hundred thousand times on a newer on a newer stage, and uh, they're also gonna add apparently to uh to the first one they're gonna add a monster new monsters and stuff right yeah they're putting new monsters into this so it's a uh, kind of an extra kick they're giving for the PC guys they'll probably bring it into the, as DLC for P for uh, console owners but uh this looks pretty interesting since. Everybody likes dying in video games and getting nowhere in the span of 10, 20 hours. And, and no story. I mean, the, the games, the games, the game's pretty good. The game's pretty good uh, as far as uh, how, how how they uh, how they dictate the pace of you dying. <laughs> but uh, but uh, it had no story. I hope that this time around they'll actually introduce a real story, a real substance, other than you know you're a dead guy walking around. Because that is the story, not a joke. Uh, no spoiler either. Oh my god! <laughs> Ruined the whole game for you guys. But uh, yeah, I mean they're bringing it to PC, so everybody can be as miserable as I was when I played it. Don't so. forget about mods. You can have a beautiful little rainbow in the back while you're getting your ass handed to you. Yeah, you've been get, getting killed by a by a, by a, a fucking uh, Randy Savage unicorn might <laughs> might make it worthwhile. <laughs> yeah, expect this coming out. It's gonna be Why a great game, guys. Fuck you, guys. You can be the sound. Apparently, you're the police. Guy, you're the guy from Police Academy. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're pretty close to black. black <laughs> All right. So with that, we move on to uh, false environmental news. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I don't, I don't know if you guys have uh, gone to GameStop lately, or or maybe looked at their adverts in a couple of days or whatever. But uh, they recently changed uh, the way they're gonna market uh, the used games. They're no longer going to call them used games because uh, they're not environmentally friendly or very profitable if you call them that. So, from now on, they'll be known as recycled games. That's right, baby. They're green. You can prevent fires, forest fires. <laughs> Smokey comes in. <laughs> Buying a used game. <laughs> you, buy, you buy a recycled game and all of a sudden all forest fires will turn off. Go uh, off. But no, that's a good call on the PR, guys. I think, I mean... What better way to sell used games than to call them recycled games? They should have done that a long time ago. You gotta hand it to the PR guys at GameStop. They get away with everything. Everything. And this is just one of the best ones. <laughs> Evil, the best one. Good, good example. Good example. If you trade in your games, you're saving the world. I'm just telling you. I'm just, I'm just letting you. Uh, letting you <laughs> <laughs> you get five dollars. You get you get five dollars, but you're also saving the uh, saving the planet from global extinction. The, the question comes up: Does this slightly worse than global warning? Does this come up as a tax tax deduction? You're recycling. Oh yeah. Is that is that possible? Can we do this? Because if it's so, I, I'm I'm trading all my. What what I'm thinking is uh, in in their mind, they're probably thinking you know you can put a bunch of them together, cut pieces off, and make windmills. <laughs> windmill <laughs> little tiny one <laughs> little tiny windmills but uh yeah so apparently if you want to go green according to GameStop you have to buy a recycled game cause that's the way of the future and uh you guys wanted it you guys got it an extended ending to Mass Effect 3 and uh can't really say anything for Sal Man, cause all of I'm gonna cut off his fucking balls it's his own fault because he started the game like 10,000 times. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, an extended ending. And for all you uh, people out there, hopefully it's the ending that we want. But, uh, yeah. It's the ending that the whiny people want. Because people... Because <laughs> they didn't end it right. They ended it with no closure whatsoever. Stop, stop making it seems that uh, that uh, EA finally listened to everybody who complained and uh, everybody who sent those uh, 400 cupcakes <laughs> that, went that went to charity. Um, they ate some and then sent them to charity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, apparently they finally they, they they felt the they felt the backlash and uh, decided you know what? Well, uh, I guess we'll give you what you want. They're gonna, we're gonna give you free DLC 
uh, coming sometime in uh, I believe it's uh, April, late April or uh, or August or something. Like that. Um, yeah, they'll be giving you that, and also it revealed today um, they're going to be giving you guys also some uh, free DLC map packs in uh, for the multiplayer. So everybody that fucking sent uh, fucking cupcakes and cried about it all over every, all over the interwebs, fuck yourselves. You're getting it for free now. Wow. It just we came together as one and we brought a new ending to DLC. <laughs> to DLC. I think the only reason those map packs and all that shit was free is because of the of the outrage everybody had, but um I don't really think this is a good start for endings being redone. I think this is just opening Pandora's box to something really and removing artistic crea artistic direction. Really, really horrible. Uh, I, I, I hope that uh, pe people can. I know. I, I hope that I hope they uh, people start understanding that you know you can't really do that so often with other people's ideas. I mean, would you want somebody to come up to you and be like, no, you can't dream like that. You're gonna fucking be naked throughout the whole dream. Their perspective on a video game, and you're gonna ruin it. I mean, it's what they wanted, not what you wanted. But I mean, people do argue. People can argue. You know, if I'm paying for it, I might as well have it my way. But I mean, and, you know, teach their own, I guess. Hopefully you fucking like what they give you this time. So with that, we bring back an old favorite. And this time we're going to unleash the crispy. What am I in? Oh, okay. <laughs> everyone's everyone's uh, brain is going to their chins today. Fucking tired. Fuck you guys. Um, so apparently EA got the... Uh, the what is it? Company? Or, I don't know. They got the shit award, basically, for the worst company in the in the United States over Bank of America, over Capcom, over Activision, over all those shitty companies that fuck people over. I mean, I think Namco or Capcom being that they released uh, a 75 percent. Um, that was Namco with uh, with the Soul Calibur. 75 percent done game. Um, Capcom with their I don't even their DLC charging and shit like that. I mean, uh, come on, people. I mean, you're gonna vote EA in just because of the ending they gave you on Mass Effect. I mean, I, I granted it wasn't the greatest closure to one of the best franchises out there, but I mean, at least they're giving you free shit and not fucking you over. I mean, Activision does this shit to you every single year, and yet you still buy Call of Duty. The fuck is wrong with you? Try to talk some sense. You buy, you buy some fucking, you buy a fucking game every year with an engine that's older than you, and you still, and you, and you won't, and you won't vote them in, and you won't vote them in. Uh, that, that's stupid. You know, what 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 do you, what do you need in order to be a shitty company nowadays? Just just to have a horrible ending? But you can I'll throw money at, at other companies. But no, I, if you have a horrible ending or or you or you start with Bioware, I'm gonna fucking fuck you over. Good job, guys. At the Better Business Bureau, you guys are fucking retarded. All right, guys. So I guess that's it for the week. Uh, any big news that breaks, you can expect us to put it out there. Uh, we're gonna review a game uh, you should, that you should be able to see on Thursday. Uh, we might have something for you this Saturday because it's a uh, random Saturday. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, Crispy's working on a walkthrough, and by that uh, I'm being sarcastic because he's in a wheelchair. Should <laughs> uh, be a roll through, <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> Shit, where we're going, we don't need legs. <laughs> so, uh, so since you guys never reply to anything that we ask you, <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna say we're gonna close this off with uh, Christian's gonna hold his breath until you reply. His death will be on your hands. <laughs> what? No! I didn't sign up for this. Too fucking bad. <laughs>